Let me tell you a fact that blows my mind. Imagine you have planned a vacation away from the hustle of daily life and you are cruising and cutting through the oceanic waves and minding your own business. And suddenly, this pops out. Looks like it's gonna fall back. But then, boom. Get ready to explore the journey of submarines with us at Rash360 and do consider hitting down the subscribe button. This is literally a rocket headed to the space that's launched from an underwater base called submarine that can decide the future of our planet. Each submarine can contain more than 20 such rockets. These subs have such destructive power, it threatened the world. A deadly game of stealth. How scary is that fact? But now, I'm forced to think, how did it all begin? It dates back 2000 years, when Alexander the Great designed this art in which he's sitting underwater in a glass barrel. 1800 years later, Leonardo da Vinci also sketched his version of an underwater boat. He kept these sketches a secret because he feared the quote. The evil nature of men who practice assassination at bottom of the sea. How did he know that? Anyways, the first underwater boat that was able to navigate was built by the Dutch in early 1600s. Since then, there were many unsuccessful attempts in making of subs like the turtle and many like this. But these laid the foundation to the modern subs. In 1800s, engines were developed and Germans put them in subs which led to creation of Unterseeboots or U-boats. And by 1900s, batteries expanded, sonar was introduced, all of this made Germans a great firepower. However, these U-boats had to come up to surface for air to run their noisy engines and charge their batteries every 48 hours, which of course revealed their location. An advantage of stealth was lost. Soon, Germans lost World War I by the end of 1918 and some of the remaining U-boats were taken by the winners, the USA, UK and USSR. And all of them began to develop their own versions of subs. Soon, US discovered and introduced nuclear power to subs. But this enabled those subs to run underwater for decades. The use of nuclear power in subs gave them unlimited access to oxygen, drinking water and electricity, which solved all the problems of U-boats. Only reason for subs to come up to surface now was for human refueling. Since these problems are now solved, it was time for them to load them up with big weapons, which made their size way big, even 8 times than that of U-boats. Now the arms race has led to development of large, destructive and stealthy subs, and tons of them lie in the bed of ocean today pointing guns at any country that tries to cause harm to the world. This actually keeps the nations from fighting wars with each other and helps maintain peace in order. As of today, we lie in the world where many countries possess dozens of submarines which can roughly be categorized as nuclear powered and diesel electric subs. The cost of production of a sub can range from 900 billion rupees to trillions of rupees or a minimum of 11 billion dollars and cost may increase depending on the type of the payload, the size and the material of the build, etc. Furthermore, most of these subs are just sent and dispersed in ocean and left there to threaten the world. Various countries build their subs based on the short-ranged fast attack subs, medium to long-range ballistic missile subs and long-ranged guided missile subs. Submarines such as Ohio class submarine do contain small scale weapons but these also do contain missiles that carry warheads that are a big defining game changer as they can be shot to up to 6400 km away which is a wider range than the entire United States and could be probably a lot longer. However, 
these remain highly classified. Like what have we created? Luckily, since World War II, no one has had to use any nuclear weapons in any conflict so far. But the fact still remains dreadful that should any need rise, these deadly diving launch bases are at the verge of erasing more than half of the humanity on just a single push of a button. There are a finite number of countries that possess this deadly weapon. Would you like to know more about them? If yes, please let us know in comment box. That's it for this video. Rash360 is the place where you will find anything and everything that you need to know. If you like our content, do consider hitting subscribe button. Thank you for watching and keep supporting. See you soon in the next one.